creating L-type stairs. We're going to go up into our command panel. In our command panel, we're going to go with create. We're going to go with geometry. We're going to pick the down arrow and we're going to go to stairs in our pull down menu. In our object type, we're going to go with L-type stairs. We're going to go up into our top viewport. We're going to click with our left mouse button. I'll click holding down my left mouse button I'm going to drag to the right I'm going to be picking the set of stairs as I go and right now I am picking the length of the stairs alright so I'm about eight foot right now I'm going to let go now I'm going to pick the other direction in the L with that landing so at this point I'm going to say alright uh, we're going to go up to there now when I drag it downwards, I'm picking the height of the stairs, the overall height. So I'm going to go roughly about eight foot here. And now I generated the stairs. You can see in my three views, I have the stairs. Over here in my um, perspective view, I have the set of stairs in 3D. I'm going to pick pick on the stairs and I'm going to go to modify to see all my parameters. I have three different types. Right now this is an open, in other words I can see through the stairs. I can go to close and now the, the area between the treads are, are closed off. And a box closes in underneath the stairs. I can change these at any time. I can generate the geometry so in this case I can turn off my handrails and I can turn off my stringers. Stringers are along the edges of the stairs. So I can have those on or off. So if I have them on, I can turn off the carriage which runs down the middle of the stairs. I can have them both on. I can generate the handrails on the left. I can generate the handrails on the right. I can also create a rail path. This is just the spline line that follows the path that we can use for other types of things later on. So depending if you want to alter this, the rails. In the layout, we have the layout set up here. And I have like the width of the stairs. If I change the width of the stairs, that's the overall width of the stairs. You can see it's an L shape, so it's at a 90. Uh, if I come down, some of this, these numbers are generated. So if you come down to the rise, in the rise, if I just go straight 8 foot tall, everything will be recalculated. So the riser height now has been calculated to 8 inches and it will calculate the number of riser counts you need. With Those are 12. So the risers is how many are going in the up direction. Down here in the steps we have a thickness of each step is 2 inches. And if we come down click on the plus sign for carriage. If we have the carriage checkbox turned on up here we can control the carriage. The depth of the carriage is an eighth, eight inch uh, beam or plank. So we can go to 10 inches, for example, that's nominal. And the width is three inches, so that's really two of uh, them nailed together because they're an inch and a half a piece. The spring from the floor is the distance uh, from the, uh, the starting point from the floor. So from the bottom of the floor up is the string from the floor. If we go down to railings and hit the plus sign, we have the height of the rings at 3 foot 6. That's very common. The offset is 2 inches away from the wall, which is, is the common standard. Segments is how many increments we're breaking up our tessellization units. So the higher the number, the smoother the railing will be. The radius of the railing is one inch radius, in other words, two inches in diameter railing. If we come down to the stringers. Again, if we have the, the railings on, we can control these. If we have the stringers on, we can control the stringers. So the stringers is down the, um, the carriage is down the middle and the stringers are down the sides. All right, so the carriage is this middle part, stringers down the side. So we have a depth of six inches usually six or eight inches, sometimes ten. Uh, we have a width of one inch and an offset of one inch. Again, spring from the floor for the stringers is used to control the starting point of the stringers 
from the floor. So each one of these can be controlled as long as we're using them. So if I do not have, for example, one of these things checked on, like if I take off, uh, for example, um, I'll go and turn off my carriage. So the carriage you see is down the middle, it's gone now. And now if I scroll down into my rollouts, I cannot control the carriage rollout anymore. It's grayed out on me. All right. So if you have to have it checked on, otherwise these rollouts will not be allowed to edit those things. So here we have an L-shaped stairs. And just because it's an L shape doesn't necessarily mean it has to be 90. You can change it, but generally it fits on adjacent walls at 90 degree walls.